underline the theme of enthusiasm, joy. In the gospel, we heard two cousins who were so excited to visit with its other. Both were pregnant. The dynamics indicate that their enthusiasm was well communicated. Enthusiasm, the word enthusiasm comes from entheos or God within is very informative for us as we prepare for the birth, the remembrance of the birth of our Savior. Oftentimes, our communication these days are fake. Our communications are empty. The way we relate to it with each other is full of pretension, without depth. We can get something from these readings. In the first reading, lifted from the book of Song of Songs, that is, those words were words of a lover waiting for the beloved. When we are in love, our communications are full of depth. It, the words come from the heart. The words are full of emotions, full of our being, not empty. Elizabeth and Mary's greetings were full of joy. They were full of that joy coming from deep within themselves because they were pregnant, pregnant with the grace of God given to them. Elizabeth, who was already old, became, was preparing to be a mother because it was gifted to him by Yahweh. Mary was given that grace to be a mother despite the fact that he is, he, she was a virgin. Two miracles coming together, greeting each other full of joy. What we can get from these beautiful biblical images and realities would be that we can recover the enthusiasm that we had originally if we discover God within ourselves. When we are able to reconcile with Him and with each other, the first four weeks of Advent are weeks of preparation so that we can be empty of our selfishness, our narcissism, our malice, and everything that moves us away from God. Elizabeth, Mary, in the Lover in the Book of Song of Songs, they are so enthused to communicate their happiness, their joy. There was there is no malice, no pretense that would separate them from themselves. God is was with them. If God is within us, our enthusiasm would be real. Our conversation would be in a, will not be empty. One philosopher said, empty talk in German is called Gerede is just a waste of effort, waste of saliva, waste of presence. But full speech, when we talk with full meaning, when we, con when we have this conversation full of joy because we are present to each other, because we know God is deep within us, then we are able to evoke the goodness from each other. And people will realize that. People will see that, that we are so full of happiness, a happiness that, they, that is not fake, a happiness that can be seen through and through. Guileless, a person without God, innocent because of love penetrating the innermost of his being. Mary was like that. Elizabeth was like that. We can be like that. We can be like them. We can be reconciled with God to the, to the fullest because He emptied Himself to be with us. The model of self-emptying can be recovered from this encounter between Elizabeth and Mary. That self-emptying so that God can dwell within us. When we speak of self-emptying, it is an emptying of our desire to be somebody. 
for the, at the expense of the other. A desire to be someone who can reach the top at the expense of the, the rest. Christian living is not like that. Christian living is greeting its other with full of God's presence in our lives. We can recover that. God gives us every day an opportunity to be reconciled with Him, to turn to Him, to, to be converted again and again. These four weeks of preparation for God's coming is our days so that we, can, we are reminded to turn to Him so that our full being can be filled with His presence. So that our encounter with, with its other, like Mary and Elizabeth, would be full of enthusiasm, evoking its other's happiness, because God is within us. However, it's not that God is within us, we are in God. When we are in God, our communication will not be negative, will not be full of jealousy. It will be full of mercy, compassion, and respect. Can we have that during this Christmas?